Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna start working on the what I'm what I'm calling the show item page. So this is the page that the general public can view and uh, they go on and they can look at the item. Okay, so I'm gonna add a button at the top here uh, on this create thing, and let's do that just now. And I'll have a little convention going on whereby if we're just navigating. It's going to be a grey button, okay? That's the standard. And I'll say uh, view item in shop or something like that, okay? So view the item in the shop. It's going to go to store items view forward slash update ID. So we've got a new uh, button here and it's for viewing the item in the shop. Now, some of you, before we go in and build this thing, some of you folks will be saying, well, hang on, that's not very search engine friendly, right? You know, passing numbers and all that via the URL. Uh, don't worry about any of that stuff. I'm going to be covering search engine optimization later on. Right now, I just want to get this shop fleshed out. We really need to start moving forward here, you know? Uh, so that's the vibe, and there you have it. Um, again, I'm going to just make sure that the update ID is numeric. Now, let me stress the point again. Don't worry about the URLs not being Google friendly and all of that stuff. We're going to cover that later, okay? So stay cool. Everything's okay. I'm going to now fetch the item details. The, 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 the details. Okay, so query equals this. Get where? Update ID. So I'm actually sorry why am i being such an idiot data equals this fetch data from db there we go that's how we do that next i'm gonna uh, open the the template okay so let's just take this here and unlike the previous stuff this is not gonna be uh in our admin template it's actually going to be in the public bootstrap template, okay? Public bootstrap, okay? Uh, the view file, I'm just going to call it view. We'll make up a file called view, you know, and uh, I'm going to hit refresh. So it's loading up this public bootstrap thing, but as you can see, public bootstrap is not quite behaving the way that we would have liked. So we're going to borrow some code from admin because this is behaving very nicely. You see this little bit of code here? We're going to go in and what we'll do is I'll take, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take, right, okay, we'll take this out here, okay? And you never know. You you never know. Maybe we'll need this in the future. I have no clue. Uh, so I'm going to save that new file as content homepage. I don't even know if we'll use that again, to be honest. I don't know, but I'm just going to save it because it looks cool, you know. Uh, that's good. Next, I'm going to go to this content homepage thing. Now, do you see this container thing? What that does is it keeps everything uh, pretty much within a set width. Do you know what I mean? You'll see this. So if I do refresh here, do you see how the copyright, everything's nice and tight? Do you see that? If I take this container out, you'll see the cop it goes away over to the left. So container keeps everything kind of nice and tight and I actually like that, okay? In here, I'm going to say style equals min height of 650 and I'm just fleshing out hold on a second uh, style, 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 hold on let me just let me just do that uh, class equals container okay that's uh, a bit more like it Okay, so we have a minimum height of 650. Everything is looking fantastic. Just so you can see what's happening, 
basically this red area is where the main content's going to go, okay? That's it. That's all there is to it. So, um, when you're building an online shop, I actually like to stick very closely to Amazon because there's a kind of familiarity to Amazon. You can see what I've been buying, by the way. Um, it doesn't look too fancy, but people are comfortable with this kind of layout. They kind of expect it and it's a good layout, okay? So I'm going to go for something that's roughly like that. Uh, and we're going to use the grid system, okay? So if we go to Bootstrap here, CSS, and we're going to click on the grid system. And you can see some cool stuff here that we can definitely use. So I'm going to copy this whoops, this here, uh, and we're going to use that. Now actually, sorry, I, I forgot, we need to activate this template by copying this from admin and pasting in here, okay? That's going to load the view file. There we go. Okay, so we'll do that, save it, and we get an error message, but we knew that would happen. Uh, because it's looking for a file here, which we're going to call view.php. And that's that. Now, in here, this is where the fun starts, because this is where we're going to add in the grid system, like so, okay? And just so you can see what's happening, only for the moment, I'm going to say style equals background color blue, and we'll add a few others, like red, and then we'll add pink here, okay? So if we have a look at this now, you can see that we've got the beginnings of a page broken into three sections that's going to kind of look like this. Now you can see that this section is much wider and this section on the right hand side is a lot more narrow. So let's go in here and we'll make this five wide, okay? And we'll make this one three, whoopsie daisy like so. Okay, so that's not too bad. That is not too bad. Um, next, I'm going to go into this middle column here. I'm going to add an h1 tag and I'm going to echo the item title like so. Okay, and then underneath here, we'll do a little div and style equals clear both, just to make absolute sure that this is displaying properly. And I'm going to say new line to BR uh, item description. Okay, so there we go. Now we don't have a very good description, so let's uh, fix that. I'm going to just cheat here and do something like, oops, something like that. This is a little... Uh, plugin thing that I've got here and I'm going to go back to the create page and let's add in a description so something like that okay submit and we'll view the item there it is everything's cool there's the description I'm happy with that so I'm no longer needing this uh, red background I'm quite happy with how that has turned out. There we go, okay? On this side, we're going to add the item image. Now, if we go in, I'm going to break the site here because watch, I'll show you. If we go in and we go like this and then we say um, base URL, let's go with big picks forward slash uh, big pick like that. Watch how this breaks the site or is it going to break the site? Well, hold on a minute. It helps if you upload an image, you know. Uh, let's just see. How about if we take uh, applications? I'm trying to find where I've got an image and actually, let me just see. I think I'm... Okay, I'll use this again. So here's a picture of a guitar. Okay, it's a huge picture. And if we go to the page, you'll see that it's ruined the page. See, I told you I was going to break it, okay? But um, everything's okay because Bootstrap has got a thing for responsive images. 
all we need to do is copy this code here and if we do that and change this like so so there's our source okay and we'll make the alt tag equal to the item image so that would be oh, sorry the item title like that then suddenly we've got this responsive thing going on and that makes the image uh, responsive and it will be the same size as the div that it's contained in so if we hit refresh you can see that that's starting to look pretty good now I'm gonna um, bring this down a little bit I think so I'm gonna say margin top We'll bring it down say by 24 pixels and I'm going to remove the background color and if we refresh that is starting to look pretty good. Uh, the next stage is I'm going to do this add item thing and in fact I think I'm going to leave that till the next video okay so in the next video we'll work on not add item we'll work on this add to basket thing right and that's all coming up in the next video. I'll see you then.